StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of Into the Void. This is a game between Ragnarok and Brayden on Echo, the latter edition. In the bottom right side of the map, we have the red Terran player. It is Brayden. And in the top left side of the map, we have the blue Terran player. It is Ragnarok. All right, so a blue versus red TVT here for you guys and in Into the Void. For those of you who are new to the channel, first of all, welcome aboard. Into the Void is just our examination of Bronze and Silver League level gameplay. Similar to Husky Starcraft's Bronze League Heroes from back in the day. I just have people send me in their Bronze and Silver League level replays to falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of Into the Void. I send those to my screeners. The best ones are chosen and sent back to me and I cast them for the enjoyment and education of all. So we got a TVT here. That was suggested. We will see how this works out for both of these players. Brayden is choosing to wall off at his front with his barracks and two supply depots. That is good. That is just fine. Same story here from Ragnarok. A little bit ahead of his opponent. Or did he just he just brought two SCBs over and SCBs over instead of just allowing one to do all of the work, which uh, a little bit smart. A little bit smart though. I'm actually not sure if that's a wall. Uh, you know what that is? That's Ling tight. I, there aren't any Lings, right? Obviously in this game, but. Uh, Reaper Tide is not a concern as Reapers can hop up walls anyway. So a Reaper Expand could be good. Double Refinery opening from Brayden. Whoa. That is aggressive double Refinery. Engineering Bay coming up as well. We've seen this. We've seen this. Is this Planetary Fortress rush out of Brayden? I mean, not really rush, but rushing to a Planetary Fortress and then using it for defense while other shenanigans are going on. Now a smart Terran player that comes up against this strategy will just get Siege Tanks, right? And just outrange the Planetary Fortress all day and twice on Sundays. But this is Into the Void. You cannot be guaranteed to find intelligent Terran players. Let alone intelligent Protoss or Zerg players in this situation. So, I mean, I think that's what we're getting here. Engineering Bay is done. Fully saturating both his refineries here is Brayden. Oh, scouting SCV for Ragnarok can't get up here as that's a very nice snug wall out of Brayden. He does have a tech lab though, so he's planning... He's planning on something here. Factory on the way for Brayden as well. SCP can't get up. There's nothing to kill him, but he can't get up. There's the expansion by Ragnarok. So sees they're not expansion for his opponent, which has got to make you feel a little bit worried as the Terran player, but perhaps there's nothing much to worry about. Getting a missile turret is Brayden. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, yes, a Banshee Harass can hit you at around the four and a half, five minute mark, but... It's only two minutes in the game, so that's a little bit premature on that one. Factor coming in, engineering bay on the way, double pumping marines with the new marine skin for Ragnarok. And I just, I am curious what that engineering bay was for. He's not using it to make this into a planetary fortress, which I find very interesting in indeed. At this point, if you're Ragnarok, you need to start pumping units. Your opponent has one base, he has not expanded. You're reasonably sure he doesn't have a ninja expansion somewhere as Ragnarok is scouting different places with this SCV. I like that. I like that play from our blue Terran player, our Bruin, Bruin player, if you want to combine the two words together, as my brain often wants to do. Concussive shells on the way for Brayden, so he is actually using his tech lab for, con for Marauders, which he doesn't have any of. And that's a double starport opening, so we could see two port Banshee. Two port Banshee opening out of the red Terran player could be devastating. Devastating to Ragnarok. Yeah, there's a missile turret coming up. Again, worried about Banshees. <laughs> Putting it behind his mineral line in his main base. Got Marines as well. Got scans available on his orbital command. That's probably by accident, though. Probably not on purpose. And there's the expansion from Brayden. So, I don't... That's an orbital command at his natural base for Ragnarok. He's not going PF there. Although, again, he does have that engineering bay, which he's used for absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing to this point. All right, so neither of these players have been aggressive in the least, in the tiniest, tiniest bit in this game. Starport is making a tech lab. Other Starport. All right, we have Cloak coming in. Do you have enough for Cloak, Brayden? You do not. You are gas starved right now. Uh, cloak is 100, 100. You have enough now. So if you're going for Cloak, it is time. It is time to see Cloak. Is that a fusion core? <gasps> fusion core! I mean, it's hypothetical right now because it's only in green. But uh, that looks very much like a fusion core. Are we going to see battle cruisers out of Brayden? All right, Brayden. All right. Using battle cruisers in an Into the Void game. Ten stars. Ten stars to you. Hundred points to Gryffindor. If you need more than that, just let me know. 
what is, what did we just read? Just finished Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix with my kids. And at the end, <laughs> uh, Gryffindor's points are like in the negatives because Umbridge was in charge for so long. It is keeping knocking points off of the school. Um, and But then, what's her face? Uh, McGonagall comes back after she was injured and just basically gives Gryffindor like a million points and they win. That's pretty much how Gryffindor wins these things is they're losing at the end of the year. But then Dumbledore or McGonagall comes in and is like, sup, fools. And just throws all the points in there at the very end. And I'm sh if I was a Slytherin or a Hufflepuff or a Ravenclaw, I'd be pissed. I'm like, Dad, we were winning that thing. We had it won. And then you guys, last minute BS, came in and shut us down because you're jerks. That's the only reason I can think of. Not because, you know, not because Harry Potter saved the known world from Voldemort several times in a row. But because you're jerks. That's all it is. That's what it is. Medivac coming in for Brayden as well. All right. This is a slow build-up game. That's what this is. I mean, this is like a no-rush 20 minutes, which if you ever played back in the Bird War days, they were pretty fun. They were pretty fun. I mean, it taught you terrible game mechanics because you didn't have to worry about early harass. So it taught you just to macro your face off and not worry about attacks. And if you try to do that on the ladder, you would get destroyed because everybody attacked early on the ladder because that's how you won games. Those French horns, always the majestic. Always the majestic French horns. First battle cruiser, six minutes and 27 seconds into this game. Hoorah! Brayden is so gas starved. Tell me he has these. He's got both his refineries at his natural. He's going for a third base now, which is good for more of the gas. But here comes a sneaky drop. Two tanks. What the? Two tanks and six marines and two medevacs sneaking on down here. They can shut down this third with extreme prejudice. Here they come. That's where they're going. That is their aim. That is their goal. Cancel it, Brayden. Cancel the base. You can't. There's the cancel. Ah, oh, so proud of you. So proud of you canceling that, not just letting it die and losing that investment. Brayden, he needs he needs his battle cruiser. He needs it now. I would say chrono boost it, but you can't because you're not Protoss. You're not Protoss. Marauder force here trying to take out these tanks. Get the tanks first. Don't worry about the Marines. One tank dead, but all the Marauders taking huge fire. Woof. Another one just, he just, I mean, is there anything left of that guy? I guess there's like an arm and a leg. But he is just a splatter of red on the ground, unfortunately, for him. <clears throat> Are you still going to attack? Still doing this thing? Ragnarok, strong attack. Strong attack. Killing that third base was a big deal. Big deal. Where's our BC? Here he is. I think Battlecruiser can handle this. But no, the drop's coming into the main. BC's at the natural. Missile turret trying to kill the medevac. No, pulls it away in time. Ragnarok, pro moves. Pro moves. Tank has three kills. Missile turret dead. Marines coming on up. Here comes a battle cruiser though. Get out. Get out. Ready. Pew, 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 pew. Focusing down the siege tank. For nope. Marines. Changing target to Marines as they were the direct threat here. But the siege tank dies. Anyway, wreckage of Blue's attack here is evident on the ground. Who lived? NSCV. NSCV came down here. Well, I guess maybe he was repairing? Either way, Ragnarok flees with his tail between his legs. It's time to replant. It's time to replant, Brayden. We must rebuild. We must rebuild from from the early the early attack of the Blue Terran player here. Keep making yes, triple pumping battle cruisers. That's what I want to see. That is what I want to see. Get the get the where is it? Mm -hmm. Does he already have the Yamato cannon upgrade? Where are you? Where are you? No, he doesn't. All right, the fusion core. Derp, fusion core has that. Here we go, 150, 150 for Yamato Cannon. So worth it. So worth it. You can afford it right now. Right now. You have enough gas. You have enough minerals. <sighs> He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. He's, I just, I encourage everyone who tries the strategy to do it. Third base on the way for Ragnarok. Tell me he's making Vikings. He's making Vikings. Hooray. He's double pumping Vikings. He already has four. He's protecting his third base. Ragnarok. I am loving this thinking from this dude. He's like, all right, I saw battle cruisers. Time to go Vikings. They outrange battle cruisers. They do extra damage versus battle cruisers. Going to get some missile turrets here for some base defense as well. And this third base should be just fine. And you know what? I think it will. I think it will be just fine. Viking count continuing here. It's time to go battle cruisers. There are four of you. Warp across the field or slow travel across the field do some damage and then warp home that's also very good it's also a good, very good use of bcs in this patch of legacy of the void all right what are we doing uh widow mines on the way for ragnarok both players again just mostly hanging out mostly hanging out two more missile turrets coming in at this third base and a planetary fortress upgrade yeah smart i like what ragnarok is doing here his opponent has a tank brayden 
uh, has one tank, so we can't really set up and siege this third base with a single tank. It's just, it's, it's not feasible. Can't do the damage fast enough to really kill it. Yay! Weapon refit on the way. Fusion core dance. As Day9 is fond of saying, I don't have the music, but you can probably hear it in your head if you're a fan of the Day9 dailies back in the day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are we doing? Brayden just working on additional battle cruisers. Somebody suggested that I sing an entire cast. I have a pretty good singing voice. I mean, it's not amazing. I'm, I'm not professional or anything, but uh, I could I could probably do that. If enough of you are like, no, don't make this a musical in the comments, I will probably hold off. But if there's interest and nobody's like vehemently opposed to it, then I'll probably try it in a future cast and then 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 you will know then you'll know the truth of the singing oh man you guys it is <laughs> it is time it is time to go plus one infantry armor on the way for Brayden for his multitudinous ground units of which there are four marauders 29 marines on the ground for Ragnarok. 10 vikings. I like the marine viking combination against these battle cruisers. That seems nice. Still making vikings? Not really. He kind of stopped temporarily there, but he has a bunch. He's got a bunch. No upgrades for them, though. Oh, plus one air weapons is completing just now. Just kidding. Just kidding, Ragnarok. I did not mean to malign you like that. Did not intend it whatsoever. Um, We have an attempted drop here by Ragnarok. A quadruple widow mine drop coming down this left side. A fourth base. On the way for Ragnarok, down this left. He uh, is doing the smart thing, I think. Your opponent's going for a super heavy mass battle cruiser. Expand your face off. Out macro them. You're going to lose units in battles. You need to make more. And to make more, you need more, more army. More army here. Yep, here's the boost. All right, so we'll see how effective this is. I, uh, I worry. I worry about this Widow Mine drop. As he boosted a little bit early. There are no missile turrets behind this mineral anthem natural base, though. Oh, this could do some work. There are scans available at the Orbital Command, so they're not going to live there forever. But one, two, he's just bur right on top of, all on top of each other. There's the burrow, and Widowmine Fire! Ooh, hitting that medevac as well. One, two, one, kills, and something. Three kills there. How many SCVs killed? Eleven SCVs lost for Brayden. Burrowing back again, away from the tank. I can't, that range on the tank is more than I thought it was going to be. Burrowing in a safe location, waiting for that cooldown to come in. One, 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 two. Really? Nope, one, two, one, two. All right, not as many kills as I expected from that, but not too terrible either. All right, look. Brayden, you have a lot of battle cruisers. You have nine. Go, go, my friend. Do some damage, pulling all of his SCVs away from this natural base. <sighs> you have marauders, and you have you have a tank, and you have scan. Move the... Unseage the tank, move it right here, right there, scan, and blow those widow mines out of out of the ground. That's what you should do. That is my suggestion. Four Vikings at a time on the way for Ragnarok, getting plus two air weapons and plus one ship plating. Compared to Brayden's uh plus one plus one. Ah, okay, so he's got plus one plus one. That is just fine with me. Not continuing those upgrades, but making two ravens, and this natural base is just being held hostage. Buy these widow mines for no reason. No good reason. There's the Raven. Alright, so Raven, here here for detection. Right? Permanent detection. Come on in. Let's get these widow mines. I, I believe in you. I believe you have the ability to detect those widow mines from a distance that is safe and will not require you to get hit by these widow mines. Well crap. That did not go well. That did not go well. The ravens. Did get in range of the Widow Mines. Perhaps Brayden forgot Widow Mines attack air as well. Lost. Did he lose a medevac to that? Uh, no. He took a big shot to his medevac, though. But <laughs> These Widow Mines are way more effective than they have any right to be. Go. They're on cooldown. Go kill them now. Kill them now. Do a scan. You have full energy on that orbital command. Do it. Okay, now they're off cooldown. Uh, making a missile turret. Probably within sensor range of those widow mines. That's good. That's good. Braden taking a fourth base as well. Up here north of his third. The fourth base of Ragnarok is done. Planetary Fortress and four missile turrets at a time. But this, there are nine battle cruisers in the sky. Actually, let's make that 12. Let's pump that up to 12 here. Any upgrades on the way? No, but three ravens. 
Three ravens at a time in production. <sighs> We're 50. No! Did he move the tank over? He moved the tank over. Come on. Can the missile turret really not see that? Did you... Hang on. Oh my gosh. Just out of the range. Builds another missile turret. A little bit closer. Okay, okay. So Brandon is taking approximately five minutes to deal with these uh, widow mines. But um, he'll get there. He'll get there, and better late than never is something I always like to say. Oh. <laughs> what do we got going on? There we go. Tank splash. Finally killing them. Widow mines, little debris pieces flying everywhere. Siege tank with three kills. Congratulations, Siege tank. SCV's back to work. You've had enough of a break. It is time to go back to these mineral fields and be happy. Plus three air weapons on the way for Ragnarok. Hey. You know, usually I'd say this many BCs is going to win the game, but upgrades on the Vikings are kind of insane right now. Dang. Plus three, plus two on the way as well. And you know what? Ragnarok says, I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of waiting. Let's go. Let's go murder us some BCs. I've got Marines on the ground. My Marines have plus one, plus one. My Vikings are super strong as well. Plus two infantry weapons just about to complete. And if he's not going to come to me, I will go to him. That is what I'll do. These SCVs are still not going back to work. All right. So, oh, they are. Hooray. They heard me. SCVs going back to work for Brayden. Finally, natural base under the natural order of things, which is mining. All right, so while we have a break in the action, I just want to do a quick plug for my book. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you probably haven't heard about this, but there's a link in the description to my book. It is called Time Traveler Patient Zero. It is about time travel. It is set in the current day. Um, it's the first book I've ever written. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun to write. I did it for NaNoWriMo uh, a while ago now, which is this National Novel Writing Month. <clears throat> you kind of just sit down and write a certain number of words every day and just hammer a story out. I'd never done it before. I, just, I had an idea. I had an idea for time travel. And I decided to get it out. Just it just it just flowed. It came to me. I listened to music as I did it every single day for a month, and the end result I am pretty proud of. So you can check it out on Amazon. Again, there's a link down there if you're interested in science fiction at all. It's not super science fictiony, but there's enough. There are some elements of weird stuff in there, and uh, I would appreciate it. I'd appreciate the support if you're interested at all in that sort of thing. So, all right, Ragnarok is setting up shop. <laughs> <laughs> Viking count is currently 23. 23 Vikings with soon to be plus three ship weapons, which means how much versus armored? 18 versus armored here times two. Jeez. Hits pretty hard. Suck so at plus one, plus one. Brayden? I don't think Brayden has actually left his side of the map. Nope. He hasn't scouted. He hasn't scanned. He has no idea what's going on. One, two, three, four, fifth base. Happily up and running for Ragnarok down this left side. Again, expanding and expanding again. Maxed out is Ragnarok. Brayden at 188 supply, making a supply depot to get out of the supply block. Fourth base by Brayden is complete. But here come the Marines. Here come the Vikings. Here comes our battle. I think this is it. You guys might go after the fourth. Might just push in. Might just push into the third here. God, I don't know. Should we try some? Should we try some of those shenanigans? Wop wop. Yep, those buttons do exist. You never see me use them, but maybe I will for this upcoming humongous battle. All right, fourth base is yours. You can kill it, Hunter Seeker. What the single auto turret? <laughs> Oh, Ragnarok tosses down his single auto turret on all these battle cruisers, and it dies instantly because of course it did. All right, here it is. 17 damage times two versus armored. 34 damage per volley with a range, mind you, of nine. Battle cruisers have an effective range of six, so you can kite pretty well here. Get a lot of shots off before the battle cruisers can even see you, which is nice. I mean, all right, we're maxed out. Is it time? Is it time to go? Couple SCVs dead and no, no, so afraid, so afraid is Ragnarok. He does not want to go in there, and Brayden has no interest. Dude, kill this base. There we go, Stimmen with the plus two attack. A lot of dead SCVs. This fourth base for Brayden is going to die. All right, 
Yes, killing the orbital command, killing the refinery, supply blocking Brayden very nicely. Get back to your medevacs. Get healed up, dudes. There we go. Mmm, delicious healing. And again, the battle cruisers. Oh, they moved. Oh, they moved. Couple marines left on the ground here, and a Braven get absolutely murdered. Ragnarok leaves them behind as though they mean nothing to him. Oh, Raven could have survived if it kept going, but it did not. Gonna try to kill this debris. Uh, Battlecruiser is working on plus two air weapons, which is excellent. Marines still need to get healed up here by... Did he re-stim? He might have re-stimmed. Battlecruiser's unsure of what to do with themselves. Fourth base now completely gone for Brayden. No refineries, no nothing at the location. Battlecruisers come in. Huh? What? Huh? Where? What was that? Army too fast. Ragnarok getting out of there with his Marines, getting out of there with his Vikings and his Medivacs. Chasing in hot pursuit are the Battlecruisers with their move speed of 2.62. And here it is. There's the battle. Vikings in the sky. Marines on the ground. Clumped together. No use of Yamato Cannon whatsoever. But Battlecruisers are dying very quickly. Marines on the ground for Braden doing super well. At the same time, though, doing damage against these Vikings. And I think the Battlecruisers have this. With Marine support on the ground. Marauders here as well for Braden. Beats it. Ragnarok forced to retreat. Battlecruisers in hot pursuit. And then they change their mind as they're never going to catch medevacs as they are too stinking fast. Even without boost. A 3.5 move speed is just too much. Just too much. Alright. BCs. Marines. Marauders. Trying to sneak on in over here. And it's currently 162 to 114. Total supply. Missile turrets firing. But Battlecruisers care not for your missile turrets. They have plus 2 attack. Three more at a time on the way for Braden. A couple tanks on the ground for Ragnarok. That's not going to be enough. A handful of Marines as well coming into this natural base. Just laying waste to everything that is here. The tanks might clear out this ground army. Some Vikings flying in, but no. Rally to a place. Yamato cannon firing. Taking those Vikings out of commission. Finally using Yamato. Another Yamato fire. Hitting some stuff. Hitting that tank as well. Vikings from distance. Picking off a battle cruiser, but not. Are they moving? <gasps> they are moving. Ragnarok is kiting a little bit here. Another tank dead. Four defensive kills here on that blue tank for Ragnarok. Battle cruisers overhead. Just absolutely going ham on the blue base right now. It is 134 to 86. Total supply. Main base is under assault right now. Vikings not running this time. Just getting murdered instead. Eight, six kills, 16 kills, nine kills, seven kills on these battle cruisers. Another tank, some missile turrets in the sky. Vikings, four Vikings and a missile turret. Doing some good shots right now. Yamato cannon hitting one. Another Yamato cannon at 10 foot flying in range of that missile turret. No, 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 no. No. Oh, it gets destroyed. It gets destroyed by the missile turret. That battle cruiser gets killed as well. Ragnarok. Has he held this? There are five, four battle cruisers remaining. They pretty much destroyed everything in the natural base except for some supply depots up north and a barracks. But continuing to make Vikings, continuing to make Marines is Ragnarok. <laughs> How is he alive? There were like 10 battle cruisers left. I, I mean, it w I guess it was just continued Viking production. Believe, trust, trust in the Vikings, Ragnarok. Fourth base is being replanted by Braden. Natural base completely mined out. He has a nice little supply depot wall of brick, or brick wall here, in his main base. I guess he's trying to make sure he doesn't get supply locked again, which is probably a good idea. So many SCVs here. There are 11 SCVs for two S or mineral patches here at the natural base. Move them. Move them to... You know what? He's kind of oversaturated at his third as well. Yeah, you need to expand again is what you need to do. You have 3,400 minerals, so spending your money is a great idea. Additional production facilities will never hurt. Will never hurt. You know what would destroy... Well, I was going to say, what would kill Ragnarok right now would be a bunch of marines. But there are some tanks on the ground. And there are some marines on the ground with some pretty good upgrades. So I like what Ragnarok is doing. He's diversified his portfolio. His fifth base down here looks crazy. Got a million missile turrets. He's got his own starport down here, his own factory. It's like he's setting up a home away from home. I think maybe he was worried about the attack destroying his main, and so he might have constructed these down here, or perhaps that was earlier. Either way, it was a home away from home. Brayden is expanding again, taking a sixth base to the up left to shove his natural. Battlecruiser's coming down. Do they know about that one? 
Oh, did he scan? Does he know about bases? He does. He knows about this base. This fifth base for sure. Too many missile turrets. Too many Vikings, though. I don't know about this battle cruisers. Yamato Cannon's killing a couple missile turrets there, but... Vikings flanking from the top. Look at that spread of Vikings. Beautiful. Marines absorbing a lot of shots here. Kind of tanking, actually. For the Vikings who are doing the true damage. Basically two volleying these battle cruisers. One volley. Look at that. Bam and bam. Thank you, ma'am. Goodbye, BCs. Great hold there by Ragnarok once again. And if he pushes out, he could do some serious damage right now. I mean, yes, it's a lot of Vikings, but land them. You can kill a building. You can kill buildings with that. They're not mechanical, but they can't really shoot back unless they're planetary fortresses, as this one is not. Da-da-dun, da-da-dun, da-da-dun. Intense music here. It's time. It is time, Ragnarok. A time to believe. A time to say to all those who doubted you, I'm moving in. And I will take this game. Yep, Brayden's fifth base? <clears throat> yep, fifth base here. Is under a lot of trouble. Couple SCVs here. They're going to die. Tank in range. Marines with plus three attack. You're going to take that sucker down. And Braden's desperately making Marines, but he's down 183 to 132 total supply here. I like what Ragnarok is doing. Yeah, the Vikings are largely useless at this point as... Okay, you know, there are six battle cruisers. I lied. I lied. Braden is continuing the battle cruiser route. He is not using tactical warp at all, though. That's a huge, huge problem. Tactical warp is what make BCs good. It is. I mean, it's not... They didn't change their straight-up fight capabilities at all. Like, that wasn't the question whatsoever. <clears throat> Another expansion up north for Brayden. <laughs> I am losing my voice. I am losing my voice here, ladies and gentlemen, but we're going to do it. We're going to do this thing for sure. Another dead SCV. No, does escape from this fifth base. Attempted replacement fifth by Brayden up north of the one that just died. Ragnarok is so cautious. So cautious right now. What is he worried about? I guess there are some defensive tanks here from Brayden. Both players have plus two armor <clears throat> on their tanks, which is weird. Tank splash coming down. Tanks trying to set up and get some shots off. And then running. Ragnarok does not, not like what he saw there. Not even the teeniest, tiniest bit. And Ragnarok expanding at the fifth base that he just killed at Brayden's. A little bit of a cheeky move. He is letting... He is letting Brayden get back into this thing. Tanks in range to kill a barracks, which is fun, I guess, but... Not super important in the grand scheme of things. A lot of tanks on the ground for Brayden here. Four tanks at the natural base defending it. I don't... Again, there's not really anything here at the fourth base. Marines running into tank fire, though. No, no, no. Do you not have stim? He doesn't have stim. He has concussive shell and doesn't have stim for his marines. What is this wizardry? What is this we are seeing today? I don't know. Widowmine from Ragnarok trying to sneak on up here. Is that in range of tanks? It's not. Oh. That could be a sneaky Widowmine. These battle cruisers not involved whatsoever. They are the most boring battle cruisers I have ever seen. Ever seen. Get in there. Vikings, you outnumber them like 4 to 1. 34 Vikings to 6 battle cruisers it is more it is almost seven to one you outnumber them upgrades are better too all right here it is yep battle cruisers flying on in and one dead two dead Woo! before retreating that moment in time i love this widow mine placement by ragnarok i really do tanks firing on this third base again there's really nothing here but if you want to bait the battle cruisers out this is one way to do it Yamato cannons on the tanks. One, two, and is the third tank dead? No, it is not, but losing a couple battle cruisers in the process. One picked off by the Vikings and then pulled back. Ragnarok playing this extremely patiently. Extraordinarily so. Tanks setting up. <laughs> provide vision. Provide vision. There we go. What provided vision there? I guess a ta uh, Viking by accident. All right, Marines trying to come in, but a lot of Marines on the ground for Ragnarok as well here. Tank, no. Tank left behind. Ragnarok pulls back. Tank gets destroyed. No. No, Ragnarok. You have this thing. 
You, I mean, all right, there are a lot of Marines on the ground for Brayden. That is really scary, I have to admit. Plus three armor and plus two attack on those dudes. Plus three just about to finish as well. Vikings trying to pick off yet another battle cruiser, and they get it. They get that. Another one dead as well. Now it's just down to these Marines for Brayden. Outnumbered a little bit, but overstimmed is Ragnarok. Get in there, Vikings, help! <gasps> Rag... <laughs> Just, okay, at this point, I know you shouldn't ever do this, but select, press A, and then right-click over here. Just A-move. Attack into this thing. You could do it with the Marines, with the Vikings. You've got this thing, I believe. I believe. Is he out of medevacs, though? Is that a problem? Uh, he has a medevac. That's fine. Where is it? Where are you, medevac? Uh, it's got two hit points left on it. That's super-duper fun. Oh, he is with the army. She's just super out of energy because she's trying to heal, like, 18 Marines by herself, which is never great. Not a good ratio, that is. Brayden continuing to make battle cruisers. This... I don't want to say this is the bronziest of all bronze games because these guys have pretty good macro, right? They're expanding. They're making armies. They both got maxed out at one point, which, I mean, you don't really see that from the bronzy of the bronziest... That's not Wood League, but this is still... Man, the caution displayed by Ragnarok is absolutely epic. Absolutely epic. I don't know what he's worried about. He has air superiority, right? Just have to deal with a handful of Marines on the ground. I know they're scary. I know they are, but I think with the... Okay, with tank support, maybe he has this. Might be a sneak attack on this fourth base. He doesn't know the armies at the fifth for Brayden up north here. All right, tanks setting up, sieging up at this fourth. Is the response going to come from Brayden? Or is he just going to let this thing die? He might just let this thing die, it turns out. Yep. That's pretty much... Uh, no one's moving. They're receiving radio distress calls from the fourth base. But no, there is no response. No response. SCV is getting massacred by the dozens. Oh, he is coming. He is coming. And the Vikings retreating for their lives. Just kill them. There we go. Chase after him. Chase after them. And no, 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 no. You need some marine support. Where did your marines go? Why are you splitting everybody up like this? Does he have different control groups? He does have them in different control groups, which again is generally good. But you're leaving the Vikings alone without marine support, and that's just, that is bad. That is bad. Tank. Tanks, move up. Siege up the fifth base, and you have this thing. You have it. A couple marines from Brayden sneaking up to Ragnarok's third. And um, killing missile turrets and stuff. That's really fun. Brayden sending a bunch of marines over to do more damage uh, with those ones. There we go. The, no, no, no. Don't leave them alone. Do not leave them alone. There we go. Tank support. Vikings come in. Yes. Yes. Working together. And then running for his life. Okay. Pulling the Vikings back. That's fine. There are no. Okay. That's good. There we go. There are no uh, battle cruisers remaining. So that's very good. Missile turrets. Are a problem here. Picking off some medevacs from distance. Marine for Ragnarok. Murdering stuff as well. Brayden's fifth base is going to die. There are a few Marines here harassing the third. But it's a planetary fortress. And it has six kills now, which is nice. Yep, fifth base gone. Fifth base gone. Missile turrets causing problems. But nope, does not care. Does not give a care. Does Ragnarok. I think that might be it. It's 173 to 77. Total supply, army supply, definitely favoring Ragnarok at this point. It is 10,000 resources for Ragnarok versus 3,000, uh, 4,400 for Brayden. Look at me doing math. Look at me doing math live on the air. Battlecruiser coming in for Brayden. Two of them live by the Battlecruiser, die by the Battlecruiser. He's fully maxed out on his BCs, which is nice, which is a nice thing to see. But there are still... But so many Vikings remaining. There are still 27 Vikings remaining. Third base has been replanted by Brayden. Tanks. Actually, did he ever lose this? I don't know if he ever lost it. Tank happily splashing away at the missile turrets here. Marines. Vikings, go! Vikings, go! They're not going. There we go. Now they're going. Vikings getting that surround. Marines as well running for their lives are the battle cruisers pulling back to the relative safety of two missile turrets. <laughs> It's not enough. Widow Mine Explosion. Go. Has this guy killed? He's got four kills. He's got four kills here between the third and the natural base of Brayden. 
Um, more Marines coming on in. They're not fully upgraded. But they're still missing two upgrades for the for the armor, for the infantry. Braden's five Marine hit squad here over at the third base of Ragnarok is a little bit stalled out. They're not sure what to do next. They can't kill this fifth base of Ragnarok's as it's a planetary fortress. And there's a tank on the high ground as well, so they're in a lot of trouble. But Ragnarok taking a sixth? Seventh base! Up to the north, the middle, northish middle of the map here. Marines coming on in, killing this third. Braden's income is zero. It has to be zero. It is. Five workers remaining. Staying in this game for reasons I don't fully understand. Marines, battle cruisers versus just Marines. Not good. Dude, Vikings, get in there. Just go. Just It's not a good angle, but we'll, we'll just go for it. And here it is. Vikings in the sky. Marines on the ground as well. Tank for Ragnarok doing a lot of damage to the Marines on the ground for Brayden. The final battle cruiser is taking shots to the face. Will it be killed before it manages to retreat? Yes! It does end up dead, and Brayden pulls back into the relative safety of his natural base. <laughs> uh, Ragnaros taking an eighth over here to the top right on Brayden's side of the map again. Cheeky. Cheeky move, but you know what? When you're up, 166 to 52 total supply, you're in a pretty good spot. Tank tries to set it for Ragnarok, gets eviscerated by a siege tank on the high ground for Brayden. So that's not great. It turns out <laughs> this is the slowest... Slowest march towards victory I think I've ever seen. Although, what was that one game? It was, um, was it Nuffy versus Frisk a couple of weeks ago? That was a pretty slow march. That was a pretty slow march to victory indeed. Cool. All right. Re nope. SEVs transferring. Tanks coming in. Marines coming in as well. Ragnarok has almost 10,000 minerals. Is that Oprah money or is that... I think that's Oprah money. I mean... All right. So Braden has four tanks with one attack upgrade. He has 36 Marines with three attack upgrade and three armor. And that's it. He's got some missile turrets here as well. But there we go, Brayden. Brayden takes stock of a situation. Rage quits the game. And Ragnarok is victorious. Oh, man. That, uh, that was... That was something. <laughs> I'm going... To categorize that as something. What is it with TVT into the voids that are just... They are just face palmy, that's for sure. All right, so Ragnarok won, right? That's what matters here. He won. He lost 41 Vikings and had 27 at the end of the game. Lost uh, uh, 194 Marines and had 24 at the end of the game. 34 battle cruisers died. Holy crap. Resources lost here. Is that 30? That's 40. 39 plus 10. 39. Yeah, like 41,000. Almost 42,000 resources lost by Brayden compared to 28 for Ragnarok. So, I mean, that, that just kind of tells the tale of the tape right there. Battle cruisers are immensely expensive. Again, what makes them good, what makes them good, Brayden, is the tactical warp ability. Tactical warp mobility is great if you just use them as they've always been used they will be bad they will be bad especially if your opponent knows to make vikings that is the moral of this game Whew. all right so that's going to be it from me this has been falcon paladin coming to you with yet another daily legacy of the void upload <sighs> thank you so much for watching you can also catch me on twitter facebook and patreon all at slash falcon paladin and until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.
Into the void 